Start your engines. Ciao e benvenuto a casa di Vincenzo. I'm Mallory and this is Giancarlo and it is February. That means Valentine's Day is right around the corner. To all you lovers out there, let's take a moment to remind you of some of your obligations this coming Valentine's Day. First, prepare your gift or memento. And if that means flowers, then we highly recommend you go ahead and order those now. Like stop what you're doing and order them now, so you don't forget. And if you do forget, just remember that Vince's is here and has your back. We'll have a wide selection of flower bouquets available for you on February 14th at 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. I don't even get flowers for Valentine's Day. Get a card, write a nice message, you know, roses are red, violets are blue, that sort of thing. And finally, decide on your Valentine's Day meal. Are you going out or staying in? If you elect to have a romantic dinner at home this year, then here's some inspiration for you to make a relatively quick and easy but delicious meal. Let's start with some appetizers. What's better than some soft and creamy brie? Well, warm baked soft and creamy brie with fig compote and some chopped pecans. Brie is a soft, creamy, buttery cheese that originated in France and is now produced internationally. Brie is traditionally made from cow's milk, but you can also find it made with goat's milk. Brie is what you would call a soft, ripened cheese, or sometimes a bloomy rind cheese. Soft, ripened cheeses have a thin, white or cream-colored rind that is soft and edible and sometimes a little fuzzy. A soft, ripened cheese has mold added, good mold, and it's either added to the milk or it's sprayed over the cheese. This mold helps create the soft white rind that helps the cheese ripen from the outside in. That means that the cheese begins to ripen from the outside and then works its way in. So closest to the rind first and the middle of the wheel of the cheese is what's the last to ripen. Meaning that in brie, you get that soft creamy texture on the middle because of the way that the cheese ages. The other categories of cheese are fresh cheese, washed rind cheese, or natural rind cheese. We'll feature some of these in our future videos, but for now, let's get back to our dinner. Damor. Brie is the perfect dinner date selection as it's smooth, mild, goes well with crackers, your favorite jam, jelly, and grapes. Baked brie, very easy. Consider one of the easiest recipes for an appetizer that you can make. All you need is a round brie, a jam or a compote of some kind, some chopped nuts, I'm picking pecans here, and some crackers to enjoy it with. Get a round brie, go economical, no need to go expensive when you're baking it. Cut the brie in half. Get a round, shallow, oven-proof dish or ramekin. Find a jam or compote, spread the jam across the middle. Put the top of the brie back on top, spread more of your jam. Sprinkle with chopped pecans. Bake at 350 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. I think it's working. Well, that baked brie was delicious. Now on to our main course. Who doesn't love a delicious vodka sauce with some ravioli? I sure do. Not to mention, how cute are these white and pink heart-shaped ravioli? Like, come on. Start your water to boil. While that is on, cue some pancetta. Pancetta is similar to bacon, but the Italian cured method. Giancarlo would say it, pancetta. You can get this deli sliced or pre-cubed and packaged. Bacon can also do. Crisp it up in a frying pan. Once that's ready to go, add your Vince's own vodka sauce and heat throughout. When your ravioli is ready, use a slotted spoon, or in our case, beautiful spoon from our gifting section, to transfer the sauce. Spoon the sauce on top and then serve with grated Parmesan Reggiano. And moi. Amazing. Well, whatever you choose to do this Valentine's Day, we hope you enjoy it with some great food and the ones you love. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Is it good? I'm like super hungry right now. Me too.